Here's seven interesting EDC items found on Amazon for under $20. I wanted to try this Maxpedition cocoon pouch to carry some EDC items. What's cool about this pouch is the flexibility of it. What I'm keeping in here now is a through night Archer Mini, an EDC fans utility knife, a solid brass pin made by a Smoother Pro, a complete writing kit from Ride in the Rain, a Ride in the Rain mechanical pencil, and a Sharpie Pro job site marker. There's no dividers on the inside, so you can get a little more creative with the items you keep in here. This would be great to keep in a backpack, but it's definitely small enough for pocket carry. It slides easy in and out of your pocket because the fabric is smooth and there's nothing on the outside to hang up on. As soon as I got this, I started throwing as much gear in as I could to see what it would fit and what wouldn't. You can put a lot of items in here. Everything seems to just settle in place. The open pocket is pretty forgiving. There's some pretty nice features that are included with this pouch. The base is made of a little more durable and extra layer of material. On the bottom side is some molly webbing so you can get creative if you want to mount it somewhere. The webbing holes are kind of small so I would rule out weaving a belt through it. A strap on a backpack or hooking a carabiner through here would be a better fit. There's also an interesting clamp that opens on both sides. I heard these are common but this is the first piece of gear that I've owned with one. The way it clamps looks almost impossible but somehow it flexes and pops off and snaps back in place. The flashlight I'm carrying in this kit is the Thru-Night Archer Mini. It's a tiny flashlight with all the features you want. It's got a hidden USB-C charging port under the lens cap. Just unscrew it when you want to charge it. This little light has three basic settings, low, high, and strobe. The high setting is 405 lumens, which is more than I would expect from a light this size. If you want to conserve the battery, you just run it on low at 18 lumens. 355 lumens is what you get when you triple click for the strobe. It has a nice tight pocket clip if you want a pocket carry. This EDC Fans utility knife is a heck of a bargain. At about $15, you get quite a bit of value for it. It comes with a lot of extra features. The knife itself has a lot to offer because it's really a multi-tool. It has an integrated bottle opener, a glass breaker, Phillips, and flat screwdrivers. The only negative thing I've found is that it takes two hands to slide out the blade. It's not a problem for me, but I know a lot of people prefer a one-handed slider. The blade lock is kind of quirky. It seems to only want to open when you push it up on both sides. I have to use my left thumb to push up the lock and then my right hand to pull the blade. I'm really liking these brass pins. The heaviness of them feels really good in your hand. This one is interesting because it can work with different style ink cartridges. You will see the bolt slot has an upper and lower notch. The upper notch is for a Parker refill and the lower is for a Fisher Space cartridge. Something you'll notice with this brand of pin is how thick the clip is. It's surprisingly thick, making it great for pocket carry. One thing you'll notice after owning a solid brass pin is that you'll have a metallic smell on your hands. It's not a negative thing, but I've noticed, so I thought I would share it with you guys. It's just like having a handful of pocket change in your hand and noticing your hands smell slightly. If you like a good permanent marker, you might appreciate this Sharpie Pro. It writes on oily, wet, dusty, and abrasive surfaces. They really designed this marker with an active person in mind. It's flat on both sides, so you can set it down and it won't roll away. The lid even has a lanyard loop built into it. If you need to mark on metal wood or concrete or even PVC, this marker is perfect for you. This one has a chisel point, but fine points are also available. If you need multiple colors, blue and red is also available. I was hoping to find a notebook to keep in this cocoon pouch. I'm keeping a right in the rain mechanical pencil and a 3x5 notebook in this kit. The size of this notebook is the max width you could fit to this pouch. I'm glad Right in the Rain makes these compact notebooks because there's not too many sturdy notebooks that will fit in this pouch. They make this really neat mechanical pencil that has extra thick lead. The 1.3 millimeter lead writes well in any condition and resists breaking. The grip area is a knurled metal putting all the weight at the writing point. If you like drawing and sketching you might appreciate this pencil. The thick lead blends easy and won't constantly break on you. You can also get lead refills in a pack of 12. If you'd like to build a kit like the one you've seen in this video today, I'll leave a link down in the description of this video for all these items.